Hello everyone, as you can see, got the fresh trim, shaved my f some of my facial hair off, got the fresh trim right here, but who cares about that, who cares about me right now, today we're going to be analyzing the kingpin fight, so apparently, um, apparently kingpin, right, they're doing an eight man tournament, eight woman, eight men tournament. And to see who wins will get a prize or like a championship belt or something like that. Something along those lines. So Kingpin is doing like a boxing tournament. All I know so far is that Kingpin has a few people on the line. And I'm basically going to talk about these people who they've added so far. The people I own see now so the first person that comes on my list is Jarvis right first person that comes on my list yes it's Jarvis now Jarvis again he hasn't fought in a very long time he fought Michael Jordan be Michael Jordan that tiktoker knocked him out cold which is madness For him, that was his first fight and he knocked him out Completely out cold, amazing hook, amazing shot, right? And since then, he's just been practicing. He's just been in the gym, working out, keep on practicing. He hasn't stopped boxing. He has not stopped at all. So, honestly, honestly, we're going to see what's going to happen. But I think Jarvis is kind of going to dominate. I think in this tournament is going to be Jarvis. It's going to be some other lightweights, some very very good lightweights. So, um, Bryce Hall's not a lightweight. Oh shit! I'm trying to remember lightweights. Unless Jarvis is a cruiserweight. I forgot what weight he is, but I think Jarvis is going to dominate. I think Jarvis is going to do well it depends who's gonna fight though but later on when i see who he's gonna fight um oh actually that we'll find out on the night who he's gonna fight so i will definitely stream kingpin and analyze the fight definitely i'll be analyzing the fight and streaming it but jarvis again he's kind of got some ring rust but he is practicing in the gym, which is good. So I think Jarvis is going to do a very good job. He's going to, he's very good, like not defensive. He's good. He's not that good defensively. He's really good at like attacking, like to attack. You know, he's very good at that. So we'll have to see what happens with Jarvis, man. Talking about Jarvis, I'm going to be reviewing footage analyzing footage of uh, Jarvis and Floyd sparring and see where Jarvis went wrong and obviously let's see does Floyd actually have any flaws can I actually spot any flaws from Floyd because Floyd was playing with Jarvis he was playing with Jarvis he was taking it easy on him so yeah the next person that they have gotten on the card is Ellie Brook now about Ellie Brook is that she is um yes yeah, so about Ellie Brook again she's 2 and 0 she beat Faith Ordway and she beat AJ Bunker which Astrid Wet is fighting AJ Bunker for the women's title yeah so she's fighting AJ Bunker of uh, Astrid Wet for the title Misfits title and I think their plan is, Misfits plan is that whoever wins the title faces um, Ali Brook. Whoever wins the title faces Ali Brook for the women's title. I think that's what Misfits planning. That's why they're making Ashton Wet and AJ Bunker happen. Or else, why would they make it happen, right? Or maybe they just want to ma make them both like fight. But anyway, Astrid was saying that. Uh, I want to fight Ellie Brook, but she's too, like, heavy. She's very heavy. She's, like, got a lot of weight. So she's going to have to come back down to my weight. 
So yeah, yeah. So it seems fair. It is a possible future fight. Ellie Brooke can lose some weight. She she can definitely lose some weight. Um, because she'll be much lighter. She'll be much faster. She'll have power. She'll be much faster. You know, it'll be a good fight to see. So yeah, that's really just it. Ellie Brooke. I think Ellie Brooke might dominate the scene for this tournament. But yeah, l l let's see what happens. The next fighter that's coming on, she looks in shape. Very nicely, she looks very fit. Very, very fit. Her name's Whitney Johns. I have no clue about this fighter, but what she looks like is that she's got good abs. She looks fit. Maybe an athlete, maybe works out in the gym. You know, already does some cardio, some exercises. So she might do very good. She might be a very athletic person. Very, maybe do good in the scene of boxing, you know. Because athletes are also... Sorry. Athletes are also very good at the sport. They are very good at the sport. So can't wait to see what happens, man. And the last... And final fighter that they have released is Tom Zanetti. Tom Zanetti again lost against Slim, so he's 0-1. To be fair, he did pick a very hard fight because Slim was already dominating. I don't I don't even know Slim, Slim's record. I think he's like 4-0, maybe 5. Slim box. Rack. Apparently he's six and zero. Oh. He won against Tom Zanetti. He won against Ryan Taylor. He won against Faze Temper. He won against Dre Badan, NNA Productions, and Fuzi. But I don't know if they they'll count that as professional fights. Apparently he's six and zero. Oh. Slim six and zero. Oh. But um. He's 4-0, I think, yeah. He's 4-0. Yeah, I think Slim is 6-0 or he's 4-0. So again, Tom Zane pops to you, you fought you tough you uh, you chose a very tough fight. But I knew that was gonna be Slim's most toughest challenge. I knew Tom Zanetti was going to be Slim's most hardest fight that he's ever fought. Because Tom Zanetti had a lot of power, very good footwork, very good, very good head movement. He looked sharp, man. He looked very, very sharp. But the only problem is that he wasted all his energy in like the first few rounds. He wasted all his energy. So it's just like, it's just mad, like, Tom Zanetti just wasted all his energy, and that was stupid of him. That's how m most uh, fighters lose. They lose from, um, they lose from, um, sorry guys. They lose from, um, gassing out mainly. So that's what happened with Tom Zanetti. So, let's see, you never know. He 100% gets better, you know? I'm guessing Kingpin is still trying to find some people to fight. I know they're not gonna bring KSI. They're not gonna bring KSI on the Kingpin card. <laughs> I'm thinking they might bring, uh... They might bring Bryce Hall. I think they might bring Deji. Maybe King Kenny. Probably Soul Puppy. Um, there are a lot of people on my mind that I think Kingpin will accept. Ed and Matthews on the card before. Uh, that could be a fight. Ed Matthews v Bryce Hall. That could be a fight on the Kingpin card. Because Ed Matthews has been calling out uh, Bryce Hall a lot. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. But, yeah, that's... That's basically it, Tom Zanetti, I think he will get a few wins on his record, 
from this tournament. And yeah, he's gonna look sharp. I think he'll get a few wins, a few W's, because he'll improve more. I mean, that guy has a lot of power, so if he lands a good shot, then he's done. Sim doesn't have power, he mainly has accuracy. He mainly has accuracy. But, um, he does have some power. He doesn't only have accuracy, he knows how to utilize his power. Tom Zanetti has natural power. He knows how to utilize his power. He knows how to get power into a shot, so... Let's see, man. Let's see who went, who, who's gonna fight who. I think Slim could possibly be on this card as well. Could be a rematch with Kingpin again. So, yeah, it's gonna be a very interesting fight. Um... Thank you all for enjoying. <laughs> if you're new, please subscribe. Again, I'm open to suggestions. I will be commenting down below that I'm open to suggestions. If you stay to the end of the video, you are the best ever. And yeah, that's it, guys. Let's see. And I will be analyzing more people later on for Kingpin. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out. Peace.